Hello everyone and welcome to this new tutorial. I'm Arian and today we are going to see how to add uh, some clickable columns to your pages. So the first thing is check your plugins because we are going to use Elementor, Elementor Pro and on appearance and themes we are going to use Hello Team. Everything uh, is in the description so check it out. So the first thing is we are going to add some code. So Elementor custom code and in the description I will leave you some code so let's click on add new and then call it column code for example um, as I said you will find the code under this video and I'm going to copy the first one and then paste it right here and click publish and then save and close make sure it's entire site like this great we are going to add a new page, so add a new page, columns page, add it with Elementor, great, I'm going to click on settings in my case, uh, page layout element of width, and now I'm going to click on this plus button, uh, we can you know choose three columns for this example, and then what we need to do is to add a header with a link in it. So I'm going to click this plus button here. I'm going to drag and drop the header and I will call it pizza. Great. And then I'm going to um, add a link to, um, to the pizza. So of course you're going to use your pages and I have a few on my WordPress website. So I'm going to click on dynamic tags and internal URL. And then I'm going to check for um, type content and in my case I call them page so page 1, page 2 and page 3 I'm going to click on page 1 in my case great now it's linked to page 1 and then I'm going to center this and uh, yeah so now we are going to style the column I'm going to click on this icon here style background time classic image and I have uploaded some of these images you can drag and drop here and you know you can use everything so I'm going to click on the pizza insert media and then on size I click on cover great now I would like to add some padding so I'm going to advanced clicking on this icon percentage and adding some margin oops that's too much let's make it for example three and then here on percentage I'm going to add some padding like this and I'm going to unlock this and maybe add to the top 30 and to the bottom 30 we can even try with 50 and 50 like that cool looks good so now I'm going also to change um, the style so clicking on the style you can actually um, go and click on background overlay and the background overlay I usually click on classic add a black color as you can see like that we can change the opacity cool and on mouse hover we can add another uh, background color uh, we can make it black but this time with a little bit less opacity as you want Oops, that's too much. Great. So as you can see, the text is invisible right now. So I'm going to click on the text, style, and make it white. Nice. Now we can click again on the column and maybe change the borders. Perfect. Now we need to add our other codes and for this to, uh, to, to work we need to click on the column, be sure the column is clicked here, advanced and then we are going to add a custom CSS right here uh, from the code in the description I'm going to copy this and paste it here and then on advanced on the top I'm going to add a new CSS classes um, so back here on my code file, copy this and paste it right here. So now as you can see the little hand everything is clickable but be careful because if you click on anything here uh, the page will refresh 
and we'll link, you know, we'll go to the link. So to avoid this, I usually, uh, first of all, publish this so that it's saved. And then we can duplicate this, but the best uh, practice to do it is actually uh, also enabling the, um, um, how it's called, the navigator here. And here in the navigator, we have our columns, for example. And if we use this, we won't uh, risk to click, you know, and get to the, uh, to the new page. So first of all, I will call this pizza. Okay. I will remove the other columns by right click and deleting. Okay. And with pizza selected, duplicate it a few times. And then I'm going to rename this grill and the last one, the third. And we are going to edit everything by using the navigator. So on grill, I'm going to click this little arrow and I'm going to change the heading. By clicking on it, I'm going to change it in grill. And then same thing to the pizza, but before I want also to change the background. So click on grill on this column here and then style image. And I'm going to select my grill image. Nice. I'm going to do the same thing to the desert. So clicking on dessert, I'm going to style, change this to my dessert, and then um, the text, just click on here, heading, and click on dessert. So the last thing we need to do is, of course, change the links of the columns. So on grill, again, I'm going um, to change the link by selecting um, the heading, and then here, content, Instead of page one, I will have page two in my case, right? And then same thing on desert, click it, and then heading. Again, clicking on here and selecting the right page. In my case, page three. Of course, you can also add a custom URL if you wish. In an example, I will going to use my, uh, my pages. So I just click it on update uh, on, uh, on here so the page is saved and two times click here and you will find view page. I will click this and now I can see my page working fine. I usually control shift R to hard refresh the page. Uh, and as you can see, everything works fine. Let's try to click on the third. And as you can see, we are in page three I'm going back grill page two, going back pizza page one. Great. So we did it and I hope that the tutorial was really useful guys. Um, remember to like this video if that was useful, subscribe to the channel and notification bell to get new videos from my channel. Have a nice day and see you next time. Bye.